Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Today we're going to talk about the darkroom sink. Now you should have a worksheet in front of you when you're watching this video. If you don't have a worksheet, find one. If you can't find one, just take some notes. The first thing we're, we're going to look at is the name of each chemical in the darkroom sink. Now if you look behind me here, you can see that we've got four trays on the right side and four trays on the left side and a big tray in the middle. The right and the left sides are identical, except that they're symmetrical. So um, you'll see what I mean in a second here. Let's start with the first tray. This is the first tray, and this is called developer. This is the second tray. We go back, and this is called stop bath. This is the third tray. This is called fixer. Uh, and then the last tray, of these four is just water. We call it the wash or the rinse. And we always want to follow the fixer with the rinse. So it goes in this zigzag pattern or an N zigzag. So we start here, we go back here, the third tray and the fourth tray. And if you have your worksheet in front of you, go ahead and add the arrows to indicate the direction that you're going to be moving. Fill in the name, developer, stop bath, fixer, and water or wash. Let's look at this big tray here and then we'll go to the other side. This is the final fixer. It's the same exact chemical that's in the fixer and uh, we just had to do it for a different amount of time which we'll talk about in just a second. Now uh, over here this is the uh, same uh, setup okay except it's the symmetrical opposite. So we start here. This is the first tray. On the outside, we go back. So developer, stop, bath, fixer, water. So it doesn't necessarily go left to right. It actually goes outside in. We're moving towards this big tray right here. So developer, stop, bath, fixer, water. Developer, stop, bath, fixer, water. Let's talk about how much time we do these for now. The first tray you're going to do for one minute. One minute in the developer. Then we're going to go one minute in the stop bath, one minute in the fixer. So far, pretty easy. One, one, one. And then the water we do for 30 seconds. Again, the purpose of the water is basically to rinse off the fixer from the print. After the water, we actually take the print out into, uh, uh, rather outside of the darkroom to look at the print. And this is the time that you and I are going to check in with each other. Even if you know you did something wrong, if the piece of paper is all black or all white or you, you forgot to do a step, I still want to check in with you. And if it's something as quick as, this is what's happening, I know what I did, okay, great, we'll move on and you can go ahead and make another print at that point. After we look at the print together, what we're going to do is, if we like it and we're going to keep the print, we'll put it right here in the final fixer. One minute is enough time to do what the fixer needs to do to look at it for a, a brief amount of time. But after we look at it, if we decide we like the print and we're going to keep it, we'll put it right here in the final fixer for five minutes. So the timing is one, 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 thirty seconds. And then we look at it. And if we like it, we'll keep it and we'll put it in the final fixer. We put it in the final fixer for five minutes. After the final fixer, we rinse either side. And then we go all the way down here to the final wash. The final wash is uh, a big circular um, tray and uh, water is constantly flowing when it's on. You can hear it's kind of loud, which is why we don't have it on right now. That's for 15 minutes. So we put the print into the final wash for 15 minutes. The timing again, 1, 1, 1, 30, 5 minutes. 15 minutes in the final wash. The same is true down here. 1, 1, 1, 30, 5 minutes. We rinse it off really briefly and we put it into the final wash for 15 minutes. What do these chemicals do? Let's take a look at that. Well, the developer develops the image. We don't see anything happen to the photo paper until we put it into the developer. After the developer, the stop bath actually stops the developer from working. The fixer 
fixes the image in place. This one's a little bit hard to understand, but basically we do this process in, in the red lights, in darkness, and the fixer is the chemical that allows us to look at a picture in regular light, which is why after this step we rinse it and then we go and look at it. So the fixer prevents further exposure, prevents the light from affecting the photo paper, and it allows us to look at it in regular light. Um, we need a little bit more fixer for that effect to, to last longer. So if we didn't put in the final fixer uh, after a couple of days maybe, yeah, it probably takes about a day or two, the photo paper will start to yellow and, and it will, uh, it'll, look, um, it'll look bad and eventually the image will fade completely. Uh, so that's what the chemicals do. And what else? The final wash, we need to do it for 15 minutes because it takes that long to rinse the fixer completely away. Let's talk about safety concerns here in the darkroom. Basically, you never want to get any chemicals on your skin. Uh, the chemicals can affect uh, your skin. Some people are allergic to some of the chemicals. Let's talk about each one. The developer, again, the developer develops the image. It makes the image show up. The developer is a mild skin irritant, meaning if you touch it, uh, your skin might turn a little red, get a small rash or something like that. It may itch, uh, it may burn, okay? Um, if you get the chemical on your skin, just go ahead and wash it off. There's a sink right here. And if you want to, we don't want to pour the water into the final fixer, but hey, that's just water. We can wash our hands off as long as we're not splashing into the final fixer over here. We can wash it off, shake it out, and then keep going. So developer, some people, I've never seen this, it's a very small amount, some people are allergic to some chemicals in the developer and will have a stronger skin reaction. If that happens, if you touch the fixer and you blow up and it's burning and it's really hurting or you see some really red skin or something happen like that, just let me know. We'll take care of it. We'll get you down to the nurse's office and take care of it. The stop bath, it's the same concerns as the developer. Okay, it's a mild skin irritant, careful not to touch it. Uh, if you get it on you and it's burning, let me know. Otherwise, rinse it off and you should be okay. Fixer actually has heavy metal in it. And Fixer is something that we don't want to mess with. We don't want to get on our skin. Um, all of these chemicals have the potential to stain our clothing as well. Um, but the Fixer especially, if we get it on our skin, there's silver actually silver, like, you know, the metal, in the fixer. And if we touch this, if we put it on our skin, that silver is absorbed into our skin. It gets into our bloodstream, it eventually ends up in our liver, and it doesn't ever go away. It never breaks down. Our bodies are not equipped to process heavy metal. It's the same reason you may have heard that mercury uh, is in tuna fish. You're not supposed to eat a lot of tuna fish. Or that lead paint is an issue. If you've ever heard in, in old houses, they used to put lead in paint. Well, this is the same thing, that lead or mercury. In this case, it's silver. So um, don't touch the fixer. If you, if you touch it, same thing. Rinse it off. Okay, you can pour the water into the, into the wash here and rinse off. And the reality is you really need to expose yourself to a lot of this fixer for it to have serious consequences. So if you get a little bit on you, don't panic, rinse it off, let me know. Um, and, uh, but that's, 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 you know, we don't really need to do too much other than just rinse it off, okay? Finally, the wash, it is water, yes, but don't go sticking your hand in here to wash off because uh, the fixer's going into the wash. A little bit of fixer gets into the wash every time we put a piece of paper through. So it's something to be aware of. Um, don't, you know, don't think that this is, is clean water necessarily. The final fixer, again, is the same chemical as the fixer. We don't want to touch it. Um, and that's what all these tongs are for. So you can see these tongs are right here. We grab the paper with these tongs. We lift them from one tray to the next. Uh, there's a tong, there's a set of tongs for each tray, and we want to keep those tongs with the tray. So let me get a piece of paper and I'll show you the whole process. 
All right, so we've got a piece of paper here. We're going to put it into the developer, all right? We put it in, we try and get it in right away, really quickly. So here we go, all right? Put it under without touching, use the tongs to push it down, and then we're going to set a timer for one minute. There, what we want to do is actually agitate by lifting the tray really slightly and moving it back and forth. Okay, by moving it back and forth, we can keep fresh chemistry on the photo paper, and you want to do that for all of these trays, right? Back and forth. You can use the tongs, but the tongs can actually scratch the photo paper, so you want to be careful here. You'll see if I flip it over, we start to have an image showing up here. Okay, so we're going to put that down and we're going to do that for one whole minute. I'm going to speed up the process just so you're not sitting here for the whole time. After the developer, we let it drip. You can see I'm going to let that drip. And then I'm going to take it to the stop bath, let it go, leave the developer tongs in the developer. Grab the stop bath tongs, push it down, agitate for one minute. After one minute, I'm going to take that piece of paper. Sometimes it's hard to grab. Let it drip. Put it in the fixer. Put the stop bath tongs back. Use the fixer tongs. Push it down. Agitate for one minute. Lift it up. Let it drip. Put it in the wash. Push it down. Agitate for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I grab a viewing tray, right? A small tray. Let it drip, put it in the viewing tray, and then we go look at it outside. If we like it, we'll put, come back, we'll put it in the final fixer for five minutes. After the final fixer, we wash it, rinse it really quickly in the wash, and then we put it in the final wash. I think that's it. So at this point, you should have your uh, worksheet filled out with the name of each chemical, the amount of time that each chemical, the print goes into the chemical for, uh, what each chemical does, and safety concerns. An overarching safety concern for the whole darkroom sink, don't touch the chemicals, don't play around with the chemicals, and don't pour any of the chemicals down the sink. You shouldn't be um, adjusting or, or messing with any of the trays they should stay where they are. You want to agitate, and you want to agitate very gently so that no chemicals spill. You just lift very gently, just enough to move the chemicals around a tiny bit. All that should be on your worksheet. Additionally, the direction. So we start here, and we are in a zigzag direction moving towards the middle.